Hi everyone. Um, today I'm here. I'm gonna work on um, a Christmas wreath, but this time I'm using deco mesh. I have this roll that I've had for the longest time. I think it's ten yards. It's no label on it. Um, so I want to use that. But then um, they had these pretty tablecloths. They're plastic. And I don't, I've seen people do the stripped ones, like where they cut the tablecloth in strips and tie it onto the wreath. Um, but this one, I had like the flower on it, so I kind of want to see if I'm going to be able to, like, loop it over the deco mesh. The same way you kind of put down the deco mesh, but I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to try it and see what happens. Um, so... <coughs> I got three of those tablecloths. I don't know if I'm going to need them all. Um, but I got this wreath. Um, it's 18 inches all the way across and the inside is 14. Um, and it did not have, it did not have the Chanel um, stems on it. I'm putting them on as I go. I had a package of 100 of these brown ones. So I'm down to the last rung here or the last section to add to and there's because there's nine sections there's two pipe cleaners or chanel stems in each section um so that's why you need about 18 and what i'm doing is i'm just looping it um the first two at the back and i'm just making sure it's even and i'm giving that a few good twists and then I'm adding one here at the two at the top. Okay, so there's all them, the shower stems on. I'm gonna go open this, it's gonna be a little noisy. Excuse me. This is my first time doing this. I'm doing the puff, 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 whatever they call it method. Um, so I know you're just supposed to gather it here. And some people tuck it under, which makes it look nice. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. There, tucked it all under. Gave me a nice little thing. And I'm just going to start right here on the outside. Just going to drop that on the floor and I'm just going to lay that right in there like that okay, with a few good twists and I've seen people do this puff puff method with the 21 inch but I don't have this is the only one I have and I've gone around and nobody seems to have any so um, I'm just going to work with what I got. And I guess I can measure this just to see. Okay, I have about 10 inches. And I'm going to just lay it here in the next one. And like I said, I don't know if it's going to work with this tablecloth, but we will find out.
think it's looking pretty. And I'm just going all the way around the outside of the loop. Of the wreath, sorry. Making loops, 10 inch loops. few good twists and I'm just going to continue Some of these are just moving. Towards the edge. Okay, so I've gone all the way around with one little poof and I have the one section here left. So I'm gonna make the jump over to here. And then from here, I have to make a jump either this way or that way on the inside and I'm not going to cut the mesh and I'm just going to open this back up lay that in there like that and twist it again Try to get it as tight as I can. Okay. <clears throat> then I'm gonna make the jump this way. I'll go ten inches. Just lay that in there. Give it a few 
two bit twists. Yeah. I just hope I can make it all the way around on 10 inches with this mesh because I don't have any more. If not, then I'll have to go back and start a little and maybe adjust the loops to about eight. Depending on how much I'm off, I guess. Go here. I guess this is like a gold or a yellow. I'm not too sure what color it is. And of course you can adjust the size of your poop your poo. Some people do 12 inches, 14, 13, 15 even. It just depends on how much mess you have and um, how big you want your poop. I want to say I think I'm liking it. It's pretty. OK, 
Okay, I've got one more. Or no, I think that's it actually, because that's two there. Yeah, that's it. So, and I still got a good bit of wool left, which I'm pleased with. Then just grab your scissors and cut enough just so you can then tuck it in somewhere. Okay, you don't even see it. So that was the fun part, an easy, easy part. Now the part that I'm excited to experiment with is putting this tablecloth on and see what that's going to be like. I just want to go ahead and fluff my poofs. Okay, so I think they look pretty good. Sorry for the blinking. I wish it would stop. There, stop. Okay, so here's the steel cloth. And I guess if it doesn't work, then I would just scrap that idea. And maybe roll it up. I've seen people like, I guess, roll it up into cones, right? So it's pretty big. It is 54 by 108 inches or 137 by 274.4 centimeters. Now I actually think I want to leave it. Like this, right? I'm not going to unfold it the whole way. I just want to keep it like this. So I'm just going to gather it. Same way I would the mesh. Let me have a little bit there. And I don't really need to worry about it. Well, I'll still tuck it. I'm going to tuck a little bit under. There. <clears throat> like that. And it doesn't matter, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to find a spot here. Oh, I've got to open this twist. Oh. Fold that back under. And just lay it in there like that. And then give it. twists. Yeah. And of course I kind of want the flower to show. So I'm going to grab I guess 10 inches. I don't think I need all three tablecloths but we're going to see. Yeah, right under the flower there. And then we'll move to this next one. Remember to open it. Just supposed to keep everything a lot more secure that way if you reopen and keep everything secure and tight in the one twist. Okay, there. So there that is. Oh, it's so pretty. I didn't think this was going to work, but I really think it is. And I'm loving the idea already and i'm hoping i don't have another wire frame wreath frame but if i have enough why well, i'm pretty sure i have enough tablecloth so i can get a smaller wreath frame maybe i can make another one using a smaller frame and i have been 
working on other projects that I don't really want to put on YouTube yet. Um, but this one, I think I want to take to my job and hang it on my door. At my job. Okay, let's lay that one in. And because it's not ribbon, it's gonna, um, I think hold up very well. Sorry for the bit. I really don't know why it does that. I wish it wouldn't do that. Maybe that helped. Not really. I don't know why. I don't. I don't. I really don't. Take that whiteboard from underneath. Maybe that might help. So I'm just going to keep going along here and doing this. And this video is already quite long. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing that. And I'm going to start another video with me continuing doing that. I'll call that part two. Um, because I also want to embellish and, you know, put some ribbon and all that other good stuff in here once I go all the way around. I'm super excited about this tablecloth. They have other designs like with snowflakes that aren't just plain solid color plastic tablecloths. So the ones with the patterns I think would be an awesome idea to incorporate in these wreaths for the fact that they they would be okay to be outside if they're hung outside or even inside, it doesn't matter. Um, but they will hold up really well to the weather elements. So thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.